What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to create graphical user interface applications with multiple tabs using TK Inter in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to build a graphical user interface application in Python with multiple tabs today, which means we're going to have one window, one root application. And inside of this one window, we're going to have multiple tabs. And inside of these multiple tabs, we're going to have different components. So buttons, labels and text boxes, whatever you want to put in there. But we can have various UI elements across multiple tabs in a single window. And this is what we're going to do in this video today. And all of this will be done with the core Python package TK Inter and its submodule TTK, which is also core Python. So we don't need to install anything. Uh, we don't need to use pip to install any external packages, we can get started with the coding right away. So we're going to start by saying import TK Inter as TK, and then we're going to import from TK Inter the submodule TTK, which contains a uh, UI element or a component, you could say, called the notebook and the notebook is basically what allows for multiple tabs uh, to be used. Now you can model your UI application as a class or as a function. For the sake of simplicity here, I'm going to just use a main function, which I'm going to call in a section. So let's just add a pass here, I'm going to create a if name equals main section down here. Come on. And we're going to just run the main function down here. And in this main function, I'm going to create a whole UI. So we're going to start by creating a root element by saying we want to have a TK TK instance, then we're going to set a title, let's call this, um, I don't know, let's call it uh, tab application. And let's set a geometry of whatever you want, I'm going to go with 400 times 200. Why not? Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to add to this root window, we want to add a notebook. So the notebook is basically like a tab view, you could say you have like the tabs and then inside of the tabs, you can have different frames. So we're going to say here that the notebook is going to be equal to TTK dot notebook, and it's going to be part of the root window. So we're going to pass the parent root here. And then we're going to just say notebook uh, dot pack, we're going to set expand to true and fill is going to be equal to both so that it fills up the whole space. Um, now, maybe we can already see what this looks like. I'm not sure about that. Uh, okay, yeah, it works, but we don't have any tabs yet. So we of course need to add some tabs to the notebook. But in order to add the tabs, we need to add the frames first. So we need to create frames that we can then add to the notebook as tabs. So what I'm going to say here now is I'm going to say frame one equals TK frame. And a frame is basically just, uh, you could say, space for stuff, you could say that it's it's just space where you could add buttons and labels and so on. It's an area. Um, and we're going to say that this frame is part of the notebook, not part of root. And we're going to say that the width is going to be 400. And the height is going to be 200. And now we're going to do that for three frames. So I'm going to say frame two, frame three. And of course, we can add some stuff to the labels uh, to, to the frames, we can add some labels and buttons to the frames. Uh, but in the end, we're going to do frame pack. And we're going to do that for all of the frames. And in the end, once we have all the UI elements added here, we're just going to say notebook dot at frame one, and we're going to set a text, let's say, tap one. And then frame two, frame three, tap two, tap three. So when I run this, you can already see we have this application here, and I have these different tabs. Now we don't have any content here. But you can see that I have this frame down here, where I could have some content. But right now it's empty because we didn't add anything to the frames. But that's the basic idea of using the notebook, you have a root um, window, you have a root application, you have a notebook component, and to this notebook, you can add different frames. And now to these frames, you can add different things. So I can go ahead now and I can say, I want to have a label one, which is a TK label. And it's going to be part of frame one. And I'm going to say that the text of this label is you are on tab one, for example, uh, then I can set I can create another label label two, part of frame two, you are on tab two. And then maybe on um, on the second tab, I also want to have a button, which I'm going to call, uh, which I'm going to call button one, it's going to be part of frame two. And the text of this button is going to be 
this is a button on, or actually this is two, button tab two, whatever. Um, and then we can say label three is going to be basically that. So label three is going to be another label, but part of frame three, and we can say you are on tab three. And you can add different elements. So I can say also entry one is equal to TK entry part of frame three, and so on, I can do whatever I want here. The important thing is now we need to pack all of this into the frame. So we need to say that we want to pack, for example, label one, label one pack like this, and then it's going to be part of the frame. So I can just say label one pack, I can say frame one pack. Now the important thing is we usually want to do uh, a fill here as well. So we want to say fill equals both and expand equals true. Um, Let me just do it like this fill equals both expand equals true and then I should be able to do it like this there you go. Um, but of course, you need to add these UI elements. so I can say label two pack, and then button one pack. And I can just pack everything. So I can say label three pack and entry pack and all of this will be added to the frames. So I can run this and you can see now I have you are on tab one, you are on tab three, you are on tab two with a button here. That is basically how it works. Everything works the same way um, as you would do it with a normal UI, but now you do it inside of the frame, which is part of the notebook. Uh, of course, you can also use different layouts. So you can go for example, here and say you want to have uh, this thing one more time, you want to have a label four, um, and you want to also have an entry two. So you go down here all of this part of frame three. Uh, so I can say here label one, actually, it's not label one, but who cares label one label two, and then I want to have the entries and I, I don't want to pack I want to use the grid layout. So I want to say grid. And then I want to say row equals zero, column equals zero. And I can just do the same thing here with column one. I can do the same thing here. Just with entry one, entry two and row one and here column zero. Then you will see that this also works with the grid layout, but maybe it's not the way you want it to be. So what you can also do is you can set uh, you can configure the columns to uh, the column weights, so to say so before you do the packing of the frame three, you can go ahead and say, uh, frame three dot column configure. And you can say that you want to configure column zero to have a weight of one, then a weight of one here as well, then you want to do frame three row configure, weight one. And there you go. And now you can see this is more centered dynamically as well. But this is just an example. So the main idea is you can add a notebook, a TTK, it's not a TK notebook, it's a TTK notebook to your application. And then you just have to define the frames, set the notebook as a parent, and then also add the frames to the notebook uh, with a specific text that you want to have for this particular tab. And this can be used for a number of different applications, you can use this for browsers, if you want to, you can use this for uh, notebooks, you can use this for something like a OneNote clone, if you want to do that. Uh, there are many ideas how you can use this. But yeah, this is how you can use multiple tabs in TK enter. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.